Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, today's video is going to be the review of my 2022 challenges. So it is the time of year to look back over the past 12 months, I guess, and kind of look and see um, how I've done with the challenges I set myself in early January or late December um, last year. I really enjoyed going back and watching the video and looking kind of the things I thought I was going to get to, um, how optimistic I was with my reading choices and generally all in all kind of what I wanted to go through the year. Um, I think I would say I get a participation medal. Um, I did not do very well um, on my challenges. I actually only set myself three, which was a finishing series I'd already started, rereading Discworld novels and then an Agatha Christie read along and I thought three were going to be quite manageable, wasn't too difficult. <laughs> and yet, somehow, I've managed not to achieve all that much. To be fair, I have done quite well in some of the areas, but in some of them it's been a complete washout. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's jump into um, how I did against each one. So the first challenge was finishing series I'd already started. Um, this one, terrible. I have completed zero series this year, which I find just outstanding. I'm not sure how I managed to not complete any series. <laughs> However, I did manage to make progression along quite a few of the main series that I did want to progress at least. Um, but yeah, none of them I actually fully completed, which is unfortunate, but I'm still happy with the progress that I made. I'd also like to say that I think I need to stop reading series that haven't been completed because that's just kind of making it impossible for me to finish the series, to be honest. So I think next year maybe I need to look at some trilogies that are already completed, I can just bash through and get done and then tick off some of these four because a lot of the series that I've made progress on um, may have six, seven, eight books and may have not been finished by the author entirely. So um, kind of setting myself up for failure a little bit. Some of the progress that I have made though is um, in the Harry Bosch series. I think I've read seven of these books this year, which I think is pretty good going. Again, this is not a series that is completed yet. And there are about 20 books, so um, a little bit longer for me to come on this one. I really enjoyed them so far. And I think seven books throughout the year is, is pretty damn good to be honest. The next series I've made some good progression on would be the First Law Trilogy. I've actually read book one and two of this series now. Absolutely love them. One of my favourite series this year. So I've only got one more of the First Law Trilogy to read. The Sun Eater series, I'm really pleased I managed to pick up the second book in this series. I think book five has now come out, so it's still a little bit way to go, but these are really chunky novels and really, really in-depth and engrossing. So I tend to read these a little bit slower, but really pleased I've now picked up the second and finished in that series. Room of Lennon series, I read now book one, two and three. I think I only read one of them this year, um, but it was really enjoyable and kind of uh, reminded me why I wanted to read this series so much. So hopefully I'll be able to get through a few more of these um, next year. What I think I've done really well is reading The Expanse. I've obviously read book one to five this year with um, Layla, Chris and Steve on Steve Talks Books. It's been really fun to have someone to discuss it with and it's made sure that I've made good progress in this. They're really interesting books. I'm loving the series so far and will be hopefully completing this series in early 2023. Another series I've played good progress on would be the Murderbot series. I've now read the first three books of Murderbot and love them all. They're fantastic. They're nice novella length books, so very easy to get through. Um, not sure how many there are in total for this one, but I think there's like eight or nine. Um, so I will have to um, A, look that up and B, see if I can make some more progress. And another series I've made a progress in this year is the Three Pines series by Louise Penny. I've read the first three um, books in that series as well, which has been really enjoyable. They've recently made a TV series as well called Three Pines, um, which, I've, which I've watched the first two of, um, which has also been very interesting as well. So another series we're making good progress on. So as I said, none actually completed, but good progress, I think, made all round on some of the series I really wanted to get to this year. So challenge number two that I set myself in 2022 was rereading the Discworld books. I, superbly pleased, I think gold star on this one, I've done really well. So in total I read nine Discworld books this year, which is not 12, but I think considering I took a couple of months off where I didn't do any reading, and one of them I remember I bumped to try and complete um, one of the new Adrian Tchaikovsky books. So I think nine out of 12 is really awesome. Um, I've read all the way through from Colour of Magic to Eric. I am reading them in series order, it's been really enjoyable and really reminded me of why Terry Pratchett is one of my absolute favourite authors. The world is so rich, so full of characters, um, and it's just fabulous to revisit every month. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I've read them in a kind of combination of imprint books, 
um, and also via Audible, which has been really, really enjoyable. It's really nice to be able to kind of choose which way I want to read them each month as well. Um, so although I may not stick with this challenge next year, Again, I've only read nine and I think there's like 25, 27 books. Um, I will be continuing to add a Discworld to my TBR as I go forward because it's just been so enjoyable. They're a really good kind of palette cleanser between other maybe heavier books. Um, just just great. If you haven't read Terry Pratchett, um, you really need to. Some of these standalones are a bit weird, but the Discworld series is kind of always a win for me. So the final challenge that I set myself was an Agatha Christie read-along. Again, I give myself a participation award for this one. Some of the issues with this one is I think I think I enjoyed the idea of it more than I enjoyed actually the reading of these books. I do enjoy Agatha Christie, but she's not a favourite of mine by any means. I just enjoy kind of crime novels. And um, there was a little confusion at the beginning about how best to read them. So, for example, reading them all in publication order or sticking to the... Um, order of the sub-series. For example, reading Poirot all in order first and then getting to the others. Um, so there was a little bit of confusion back and forth about how best to complete it. I did okay for the first half of the year and I read quite a few of them, well not quite a few of them, I think five maybe. But as they're not kind of my absolute faves and I was having to read one each month, it kind of made it more of a chore, which was really taking away the fun for me. So I think I stopped in June um, and from then onward haven't read any, um, but they're definitely ones I'm going to pick up as I go along in the future. But I probably just interspace them whenever I feel like it rather than trying to force myself to read one every month. Particularly because I don't read that many books a month, it was really hard to try and um, make myself read one I wasn't particularly interested in when I could have read others. So although it was a nice idea, um, and I did read a few that were very very interesting and I did enjoy, I'm kind of glad that I kind of kiboshed this halfway through the year. I think it really helped with my second half year reading. So that was it, that was kind of a review of my 2022 challenges. Thought it was going to be easy, turned out to be way harder, um, pleased with some of it, not so pleased with other things, but I guess it's all kind of just the guidance for what you're meant to be reading. So if you had any 2022 challenges, let me know how they went. If you have not done so, done so well like myself, or if you've done super well and smashed them all, that's great. I'd love to discuss them below in the comments. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. See you in the next video.